Secretary Marsh, I'm sorry I can't be with you at Fort Benning today. I'm in Afghanistan visiting with our soldiers there, a priority I know you'll appreciate. I have 21 predecessors, and I pass those portraits many times in the hallway outside my office. For many of us, you stand out as an example of stewardship, leadership, and lifetime commitment to our Army. That commitment started when you served in Europe after the Second World War came to a close. You served again a quarter century later in Vietnam, at a time when you also served the people of Virginia's 7th District. You never told the soldiers under your command about your job back home, but you were the first sitting congressman to serve in a war zone. As a four-term Democratic representative who would later serve in four Republican administrations, you modeled a spirit of bipartisanship vital to our military and nation's strength, and something we could use much more of in Washington today. As Secretary of the Army during the final but perilous years of the Cold War, you kept our force ready while keeping a keen eye on future threats. You have devoted so much of your life to making sure our Army can meet its most vital responsibility, fighting and winning our nation's wars, ultimately becoming our nation's longest serving Secretary of the Army. Secretary Marsh, for your commitment to our country, to our Army and its people, we thank you. We are in your debt and congratulations on this well-deserved recognition.